ultimately, that is what it boils down to. The Biden administration thinks you're a moron. They think you're stupid, and they think that they can trot these things out here that they obviously had to pick and choose and, and pick the one specific thing that was down even just a tiny hair from last year and use that as the big example that they trot out of how they're saving you money, even though they know that the prices on every other commodity has gone up by an average of 2.2% over last year when we were in the midst of a global pandemic. Hey, fellow tacticians. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell. That supports this channel's conservative content, which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. Now you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. And for this evening's Daily Dose of Stupid, the first Daily Dose of Stupid that we have, because we are continuing to do our, our tradition of a double dose of Daily Dose of Stupid. The first one is the White House has now claimed they are saving you money. That's right. The, the White House is saving you money on your 4th of July barbecue. Now, of course, this is in response to the 4th of July, which was last week. They, they did this like right before the weekend, and so we didn't have time to get it in on the show. But it's really interesting. They, they saved you a lot. They saved you an awful lot, and we'll just go ahead and go straight to the tweet that they issued out from the White House. This is your government, by the way, doing this. Government employees coming up with these things. Planning a cookout this year? Catch up on the news. <laughs> According to the Farm Bureau, the cost of a 4th of July barbecue is down from last year. It's a fact you must hear. Erd. They're trying to do mustard. I, anyway. Hot dog, the Biden economic plan is working. Okay. And that's something we can all relish. Now, if you will look at that graphic there that they posted with this, it says the cost of a 4th of July cookout in 2021 is down 16 cents from last year. And I'd also like for you to observe the spread that they have out there in the graphic. Some of the things are kind of standard barbecue. You've got a, a bowl of ice cream. You got some baked beans and some potato chips. And then there's like four random slices of cheese and water with appears to be what, like a lime in it. I'm guessing there's the cost of water is about the same. And then just a pan of stir fried ground beef. <laughs> Very bizarre <laughs> selection. If if that is what your 4th of July cookout looks like, you probably went to the wrong 4th of July barbecue. You could have you could have gone to Wendy's and get a better <laughs> meal than that. But man, I or Whataburger. Go to Whataburger. But anyway, <laughs> it just amazes me that the Biden administration is probably that's like, really? You saved us a whole 16 cents on that. Oh, okay. All right. Good job. Thanks, Biden administration. I don't know what I'm going to do with the, the 16 cents. I mean, uh, you, you can't even buy like one M90. <laughs> you can't, can't buy one firework for your 4th of July barbecue that way. And also, this is supposed to be, as I understand it, the metric that they're using from the Farm Bureau is that it's supposed to be a meal that feeds 10 people. You, you save 16 cents? on a meal for 10 people, you realize that's not even two cents a person, right? Like, this is, this is not exactly savings that is going to be a big deal. And I, I love the fact that they're playing this up as though it's a big deal, that they saved 16 cents on a meal that's supposedly going to feed 10 people. I don't think the spread there that they showed is going to do that, but let's just go along with their premise here for a second. Do you remember back when the Trump tax cuts went through that the GOP in the House and the Senate passed it, and I believe it was 2018 was the first year that they did the tax cuts, and it found it turned out, even though the Democrats, you know, swore that this was not the case, that the tax cuts pretty much helped out everybody. Almost everybody saw a roughly 1.8 to 2 percent tax cut across the board, and uh, when that happened, they said that. This is going to save the average family of four a few hundred dollars, like, you know, anywhere from two to five hundred dollars a year. And the Democrats laughed at that. <laughs> that's that's chump change. That won't even buy a saddle for my dressage horse. It's like, OK, Democrats, thanks a lot for that. You pretentious jerks. Anyway, 
they were pretending like that extra 500 bucks in tax cuts granted should have been more. I, one of the very rare things I agree with Democrats on, we should have cut taxes by like, you know, 10%. But anyway, they may, they were like, oh, this little two, $300 a year, that's not going to make a difference for anybody. It's not like families are going to be able to use that for anything, but 16 cents on a 10 person barbecue that we're supposed to be impressed with. None of that makes any sense to me whatsoever. But here's the funny thing about all that. You'll notice if you're looking at the graphic that they worded it very carefully. You'll say it, the cost of a 4th of July barbecue is down from last year. Well, let's see. It is 2021. Last year would have been 2020. My math is good on that. What was going on in 2020? Oh, right. The pandemic. We were in the middle of shutdowns when all of this happened, which, by the way, resulted in a cascade effect that had massive meat shortages everywhere because we had supply chain issues. You remember, we actually covered this when it was happening last year. There were supply chain issues because it's not that we didn't have enough food. It's just that our food systems have become very efficient at predicting where that food is needed most. And so a lot of the meat and, and sort of the basics that you need in your kitchen were not making it to the grocery store because they were going to restaurants. But the restaurants are all closed. And so we did have some supply chain hookups just because we're not used to shipping that much meat. We're not used to that much demand being in your local grocery store and having zero demand in your local restaurant because they've all been forced to be closed by an illegal government shutdown. So that was what we were dealing with at the time. And you may also recall that because people were staying home, pretty much all of your barbecue supplies specifically were all sold out. You couldn't get ground beef. You couldn't get steak. I remember there were a couple of weeks you just could not buy ground beef. You had to basically get lucky and walk in on a day that they restocked. I remember there was a feeding frenzy here in Montgomery at the Winn-Dixie just down the road here. Uh, because, well, it was the Piggly Wiggly, but whatever, you know, it changed stores. Anyway, not really the point. Pretty much all of the barbecue stuff, all of the food, all of the, the stuff that goes with it, grills were getting sold out. All the stuff that you normally need for barbecue was flying off the shelves because so many people were stuck at home with their family. They had nothing else to do. They were working from home or not working at all. And so they decided, okay, well, let's, let's do some grilling out since we're going to be here anyway. And so the Biden administration claiming like this is some kind of massive victory that down from last year when there was a catastrophe going on and we had supply chain problems and specifically the stuff that they're touting is now cheaper is some kind of big economic victory and a testament to Joe Biden's economic policies is just stupid because it would be like, you remember back in Hurricane Katrina? where there were people going down there with giant cases of water and they were selling like a case of 24 water for like 90 bucks. That would be like the year after Hurricane Katrina. The mayor of Baton Rouge being like, hey guys, look how low the price of water is now. If you compare the price of water now to where it was this time last year, look how much I've brought down the price of water. Yeah, but you're kind of ignoring the fact that there was sort of a big deal going on that was causing the prices to skyrocket. That's the thing that the Biden administration does not want you to think about. They're hoping that you lack the critical thinking skills and memory to remember that back in 2020, barbecue supplies were extremely expensive because they were very high in demand. We saw the biggest spike that we've ever seen in American history for some of these products that they're talking about. And now that the prices are down naturally, which by the way, that downward trend started way before Joe Biden took office or even won the election. But now they're acting as though this is some kind of giant economic, uh, th this is like a, a signpost to show you that Joe Biden's economic policies are indeed having the intended effect. But if you will go ahead and check this out, you will notice on this chart, and I know that some of the print is tiny, but this is the best that I can do. Uh, and by the way, the, the references and the sources to all this are in the description here. So you'll notice all the different prices that are listed here. And these are for all the regular commodities. And I have highlighted here May 2020 to May 2021. 
you'll notice that the price for all of these commodities, with the exception of what? Beef and eggs has gone up. Beef and eggs has gone down. But everything else has increased. And if you look at the top there, the total, your grocery bill has actually increased by 2.2%, which again, you may say, oh, that's no big deal, Caleb. Well, 2.2% is kind of a big deal depending on what your family budget is. If, if you spend, you know, a thousand bucks, which is about, about normal for a family of four, well, that 2% is, you know, 20 bucks and that, a, a, it sort of kind of accrues over a year and it builds up. And so after a year's time, you know, you've spent a few hundred bucks on that more. And that's also kind of ignoring the fact that these prices are continuing to rise. This is not a stagnant thing. So the Biden administration is trying to tell, look how well we've done and look how well the economic policy is working. See, barbecue supplies have gone down by a, you know, measly little 16 cents. But they're saying, well, it has gone down some, but the only reason for that is because of ground beef spiking so much last year, and now it's down a little bit from last year because of that crisis. This is not a good comparison because everything else on your grocery bill, with the exception of eggs, has actually increased as opposed to this time last year. And so they took a very, very specific thing to show, see, prices are down when in fact, for basically every other item that you would buy, they're not. Milk, uh, other meats other than beef, practically everything else you can buy, bread, all of your standard amenities, all increased since Joe Biden took office, all increased from last year. During a pandemic, I might add, all have actually gone up in price. And the thing is, yes, technically, technically, the price for beef is down, but just because it's down from last year does not mean that it's not still high. So for example, let's say that to, for whatever reason tomorrow, the gas prices go to eight bucks a gallon. You know, God forbid that would happen, but let's just say eight bucks a, uh, a gallon for a, a gallon of gasoline. And let's say at this exact same time in 2022, it's down to seven. Well, would that be something to brag about? Well, it is down from last year, yes, but last year was insane. And so it's still way too high, and that's exactly the scenario we find ourselves in with this. Because if you look at this chart, which is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics and uh, also in coordination with the United States Department of Agriculture, this is the price of a pound of ground beef on average retail in American stores. And you'll see the chart there. It goes all the way back to, I've made this one for 10 years, so it goes back to 2011 and goes all the way up to present day. Well, you'll notice there's some spikes in there significantly, but 2020, you'll see that massive spike that we were just talking about a second ago, where it was the biggest increase and the, the fastest increase that we had ever seen. So now let's take a look at some important plot points here, because that's where it was today, May 2021, 4.101. So on average, about $4.10. If you look at February 2020, before the shutdown, in other words, this would have been in the economy that was unaffected by the shutdown. It was at 3.86 or 7 if you round up. And so that's about 30 cents cheaper, 25, closer to 25. And so the price of beef is still up. The fact that the Biden administration is bragging about this is hilarious because they're still at significantly above pre-coronavirus levels. And so the idea that they're saying, look at how much money we're saving and how much the economic recovery. Okay, but the price of beef is still higher than it's supposed to be. It's just down from last year at this same time. In fact, the last time that the price of beef was this high was back in November 2015 which would have been back in the Barack Obama presidency. Now, I'm not saying that necessarily the economic policies were the only factor here. I'm, I'm not suggesting that at all. But isn't it interesting we see a sharp uptick in beef prices, and then 
right around the end of Obama's term, right into the beginning of Trump's, we start seeing those prices substantially decrease because you'll see there in 2016, it starts going down. 2017 is when Trump takes office and it stays pretty stagnant up until the pandemic where it spikes back up. And so even the thing that they can hang their hat on, as it were, the price of beef going down is still a massive fail. Like it's, it's still higher than it probably should be if we were comparing apples to apples here. It's still higher than it was pre-pandemic. But this is the only thing that the Biden administration can come up with to try to say that they're saving them money. So even their one bragging right is still a complete sham. They're still, it's still misleading even to use that. So the perfect response to this, I think, is laughter and scorn. And nobody does those two things better than the Babylon Bee. And so <laughs> I just had to share these with you because I thought that they were so good. The Babylon Bee had the perfect response to this. Check this out. The Babylon Bee Treasury announces minting of the new Biden coin worth 16 cents. <laughs> uh, I love it. The the come on man and the um, 16 cent ice cream cone on the other side. I also like the fact that it looks like a penny because with the inflation that we're seeing under Joe Biden, pennies, you know, 16 cents might be the new penny. We, we might have our, our currency multiply by 16 times and, and 16 cents becomes the value of what a penny would be today. So the Babylon B doing a great job there, really doing yeoman's work. And they also had this one, which I thought was really good. Bernie Sanders submits bill to tax the 16 cents <laughs> saved on barbecues. <laughs> Man, the Babylon Bee, I, I normally don't show their stuff because yes, it's funny, but again, I'd rather you go to there. I don't want to like just steal their material and, and show the jokes for you. And then you come here instead of going to their website for their material. I feel like that's underhanded, but man, I just had to put this one up here because they did such a good job messing with them. But Ultimately, that is what it boils down to. The Biden administration thinks you're a moron. They think you're stupid, and they think that they can trot these things out here that they obviously had to pick and choose and, and pick the one specific thing that was down even just a tiny hair from last year and use that as the big example that they trot out of how they're saving you money, even though they know that the prices on every other commodity has gone up by an average of 2.2% over last year when we were in the midst of a global pandemic. That even though they know that, they have to trot out the one tiny little thing that they can show that shows, I don't know, maybe there might be something working. It doesn't. It's, a, it's an outlier, and the price is actually still way higher than it should be. But the point is, this is the best the Biden administration can do, and they're just hoping that nobody is intelligent enough or you know owns Google or owns a device that can get on Google to actually fact check, check them on any of these things. <laughs> If you're watching this because you liked this video, awesome. Be sure to like and subscribe and click that little notification bell. If you're a leftist that's only here to hate watch, hang on before you punch that dislike button. You see, I identify as a Hispanic woman, so if you dislike this video, that's literally violence against me and you are now guilty of a hate crime. Why do you hate beautiful trans people of color like me? What you gonna do now, Woke Brigade?